Let's get perspectives on the challenges of health management and funding in the country. And we're being joined live from our Kano studios by a professor of public health from the Bayero University, Kano, Professor Isa Sadiq Abubakar. A pleasure having you with us on the News at 10. Thank you very much, Belinda. Thank you. The allocation to the health sector in the 2022 budget is just 4.34% of the entire budget. Now, this means that the country has failed yet again by 10.66% to meet its 2001 health sector commitment. What are your thoughts on this? Yeah, um, it's really a shame that about 20 years after the African leaders uh, under the auspices of African Union met in Abuja in Nigeria to decide that 15% or more of the total budget every year should be allocated to the health sector. But we are still allocating something less than one third of that. Of course, that is a far cry from the reality of what we are trying to achieve. We have enormous challenges in the health sector that this amount of money earmarked cannot really address. In fact, the amount of money is not uh, more than what two teaching hospitals need to run effectively. So in view of this on the funding, how much changes do you see taking place in terms of improved facilities while dealing with different infectious diseases across the country? Of course, uh, just a little, because um, even the budget three implementation is nothing to write home about. Uh, we are allocating some money that at the end of the year is not completely utilized. And then there are a lot of leakages. So the result is that we do not see much infrastructure going into the health facilities and other health institutions and then services running in these health facilities are a far cry from normal, actually. So uh, we are just uh, below the pass mark. Well, Prof, we know that apart from government's annual budget, funding is also provided by various donor agencies and international bodies. All this put together, will you say health authorities have enough to address the challenges? Uh, not really, because the health sector in Nigeria is still uh, largely funded by out-of-pocket expenditure in spite of what the government is allocating and what the international partners are bringing on the table. Uh, we are still very far away from the desired goal, and that is why one is not surprised that our health workers, out of frustration, are leaving the shores of the country for greener pastures because retaining them is becoming more and more difficult for the government and the services rendered by the few of us that are left behind are not able to meet up with the many challenges of addressing the issues of non-communicable diseases which are on the increase, communicable diseases like the neglected tropical diseases, the public health emergencies that are rearing their heads, and then the increased injuries and uh, violence that is on the rise is resulting into a large number of patients that we are not able to cater for. And then the human resources for health is still uh, not being able to satisfy the, uh, what we are looking for in the health sector. So in view of this mega funding, what do you think should be on the top of the list for the sector now? What should they be looking at, at addressing immediately? Yes, we need to rearrange our priorities uh, in addressing the health challenges. Uh, we need to reduce leakages and then try to revamp the health sector by leveraging resources uh, from different angles. Uh, we need to increase our participation in public-private partnerships so that there will be more money being allocated to the health sector and then ensure that uh, the money that is even earmarked for the health sector is being channeled uh, so that uh, there is 
complete release. Uh, we need to, in, uh, the taxes that government is increasing needs to be channeled into the health sector and then we reduce our spendings on other sectors so that we can bring more money uh, for the health sector to run itself. Thank you, Professor Issa Sadiq Abubakar, Professor of Public Health from Bio University, Kano. A pleasure sharing your thoughts with us. Thank you very much. It's my pleasure.